It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm Ronnie, I'm not Mr. Rogers. Um, I'm going to teach you something today that's, uh, I think, kind of interesting, and I would like to know your opinion, if you agree or disagree with this theory. Um, this is a psychological theory. Let's dive into your brain. Delicious. Um, there's been many studies done on what we call birth order. So birth order means if you were born first, second, or third. Um, we also call it like the middle baby syndrome. I've just made that up. <laughs> um, but if you're, if you're the middle kid, you have disadvantages. There's TV shows about it um, called Malcolm in the Middle. There's been so many things, so much research done about this. And I'm just going to share this with you and you can learn some vocabulary and you can learn something about yourself. And if you are a parent, you can maybe learn something about your children. Why are they so crazy? Why are those little devils doing that? Or why is my child an angel? So um, this is called birth order. And the first thing I want to teach you is a few uh, slang words in regard to parenting. So one of them is called a mama's boy. You probably have this in your language. Uh, mama's boy is a boy who always depends on their mother. So a mama's boy will never really become fully independent. Uh, his mother will always do his laundry, cook his dinner and lunch and breakfast, and basically never ever grow up. So you don't actually want to produce a mama's boy and you don't actually want to be a mama's boy because in the future it will cause problems in relationships because no one can re ever replace your mother and oh, so the trauma begins. So mama's boy are boys who depend too much on their mothers. So mamas, stop babying your son. Make him do the cooking and the laundry. <gasps> Relax. Take a bubble bath. Eat some bonbons. Let that kid do the washing up. Okay. The other one is a new sensation called helicopter parenting. So in our society, um, because it has become more dangerous, um, parents now have to actually walk their children to school. When I was a child, I got to go to school by myself, yay, and cross the road, and I survived. But again, our society is getting more dangerous depending on where you live. Now, parents must walk the kids to school and pick them up. So, this obviously would interfere with having a job <laughs> and properly maybe a life. So, helicopter parenting means that the parents watch the children too much. Before it was called being overprotective. So if you have an overprotective mother or father, they're always watching what you're doing. They're always worried and it's really annoying because you want your freedom. So helicopter parenting is just being overprotective about your children. Of course, it's your natural instinct to protect your children, but sometimes it gets too much. Another example of this is for children's birthday parties. When I was a child, I would go to my friend's birthday party by myself. Maybe my mother and father would drop me off and I would play for a couple hours, eat some cake, go home. Now, the parents actually go to the kids' birthday parties. You guys just want cake. Oh, I get it. Good idea. Yeah, I'm protecting my children. You're protecting your stomach from the cake. Okay, I get it. So this is parent helicopter parenting. Negative, positive, you decide. So let's start with the firstborn, your very first baby. So you are really excited for the very first baby, but you are also very, very, very nervous because you want the baby to survive. So as a parent, the first baby, you don't know what to do. Of course, <laughs> you've never done this before. So you have very strict rules and everything is crazy. If the baby's sick, oh my God, it's an emergency. That's normal. So what the effect of this is the firstborn 
are always going to have the most strict parents and the most strict rules. Okay. And that's wonderful. The baby grows up, then doo -doo -doo -doo, surprise, you have another child. So what happens is with the birth of the second child, the firstborn is going to learn really, really positive things. The child is going to learn to nurture and love, hopefully, <laughs> his or her baby brother or sister. So they are taught to teach the child and they are taught to love them. So you see little boys and little girls are very excited for their little baby brothers or baby sisters to they be born. They ask their mom and dad, mom, I want a baby brother for Christmas. Uh oh. <laughs> so this is a very positive thing. They also are very eager or they want to please others. They want to please their mother and father. They want their parents to be happy. So this is good. Um, when the new baby is born, they understand other people's needs. So they think, oh, hey, I'm not the only kid here. There's another person. And, oh, oh, hey, <gasps> this little guy wants to use my toys too. Okay. So they learn to be more adaptive. They learn to share things. They learn to take care of other people. They like to teach, um, some of them. This, of course, is not everyone. <laughs> um, so they like to teach their little brother and sister how to do things because they're the responsible one. And they like to lead. They like to be leaders. So most of them like to teach them because they feel proud. So these are the very positive aspects about being the firstborn and then having another little baby. But there are bad things. And this is where you have to watch out if you are a parent. So, of course, with a new baby, the first baby is going to be jealous because all of the attention is now given to the new baby. So, the new baby will get toys and the firstborn won't get any toys. So, a lot of parents buy a toy for the baby and for the older brother or sister. Um, they're going to experience a sense of loss. And this is losing their toys. This is losing all of the attention from the mother and father as well. And they feel really sad about this and jealous. Um, they need to share the attention or share the love of the mother and father. They don't like this. <laughs> and they feel a lot of pressure because they always need help. They always need to help the mother and father. So the mother, maybe you're busy and you say, oh, okay, come on, let, let's help, help me do this. I need you to help me. So they feel a lot of responsibility. Depending on the child, they might really like this or they might find it awful because they just want to play, but oh my God, I have to help my baby brother or my baby sister. So we have to be aware of what happens in the developmental brain of a child. Why are they acting out? Why are they doing this? These are the reasons. They're jealous. Um, the second born. So, if you're the second born, wow, you get one thing that's really cool is your mother and father have done this already. They're cool. So, if you sneeze, they are not going to run to the hospital. They know you just have a cold. Um, so, the parents are calmer. They learn more. They've done this already. They know what happened. You get to learn from your older sibling. So sibling means brother or sister. So hopefully your older brother and sister will help you do things. And that's fun. You can learn from them. Um, because of this, theory has it that you read and you can develop faster um, because it's the help of your older brother or sister. Now, maybe if your older brother and sister doesn't help you, you can't read faster. That's fine. I have an older brother. <laughs> um, so in theory, the older one will help the younger one and they will develop faster. Um, but with everything in life, there are some drawbacks or some negative things about being the second born. The first one is because your sibling is older, they can obviously do more things. So you or the baby 
would begin to feel inadequate. Inadequate means you feel like you can't do something. So, depending on the age, if a five-year-old can do something, a two-year-old can't do it. Logically, we understand this, but the child doesn't. So, we need to guide the child and say, oh, yeah, yeah, but look at your brother's five and you're only two. Your brother can paint and draw and you just eat crayons. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you're only two years old. Um, another thing they do is they try to imitate the older brother or sister. So, you might think, oh, okay. Imitate means they copy what the older brother or sister does. Sometimes this is negative because maybe the older brother and sister do bad things. So, of course, the child would like to do the same as the brother and sister. This could be double, <laughs> double trouble. Um, and also it annoys the older <laughs> brother or sister. And, of course, they're jealous. All kids are jealous. They're jealous of the older brother or sister because the older brother and sister can do cool things. They can go with their friends and you can't. Or they can do different things, different activities that you can't do. So there's a big loss here. And they, they, they're very competitive. I want to be like my brother and sister. They have a drive. Maybe this helps you in real life because you are competitive. Um, the last one, me, is the last born or the baby of the family. Um, this word, imitate, I've spelt wrong. It actually only has one M. So I imitate <laughs> is only with one M. I like to put in two M's. It's fun, but it's wrong. So imitate. The last one or the baby is what I am. So I have one older brother, thank God, only one. And I am the baby of the family. Um, the babies, are they the coolest? Maybe. I think so. So the babies will never grow up in the parents' eyes. So the cool thing about this is the parents now have amazing confidence. They've done this not one time before, but two times before. So, hey, kid, if you want to run with scissors down the hall, go ahead. We're cool. I'm going to have a bubble bath. Why you do that? So parents have more confidence. Therefore, maybe you have fewer rules or the rules are different. So the child has more freedom. Now, <laughs> is this positive or negative? I think it's cool. Um, they get more attention from the mother and father because they're the baby. Maybe they're a surprise baby. Now, a surprise baby means that the mother and father didn't really plan on having a baby. That's funny. <gasps> but you're surprised. So, Surprise babies, woohoo, we're having another brother and sister. This can be difficult for the first and the second born. But the baby also develops skills faster than the second one because now they have two kids to teach them and they have two kids to look up to or two kids to admire. Oh, I want to be like my baby brother or my older brother or sister. Um, they tend to be more creative, probably because, again, they have more freedom. They are more confident, again, no helicopter parenting. <laughs> and a really cool skill is they can be alone because they have a sense of security in the family. Okay, then we come to the negative things about being a baby. Maybe you will always be the baby in the family. So <laughs> you can use this and you can do this crazy thing called be manipulative. You can manipulate people. So, because you're the baby, like, I'm the baby, I can't do anything. So you always get your older brother and sister to do it for you. This causes you to be very lazy and may cause you to be irresponsible. So you always depend on someone else to do what you should be doing. Ah, you know, that other person will do it. I don't need to do it. Guess what, baby? Yes, you do. You're not a baby anymore. You're an adult. Come on, do it. Um, they also tend to be daredevils. What's a daredevil? A daredevil is someone who does something a little bit dangerous. 
bungee jumping, no problem. Okay. Um, they like to test the rules also. They're rebellious. So the parents give them a rule and they think, whatever. I don't need to follow that rule. So they test the parents because you have fewer rules. They feel more freedom. They can get into trouble. Yeah, they can climb a tree, break their leg. So you daredevil babies, be careful. Do you agree with this? What's your opinion of this? What baby are you? Are you the first, second, third, fourth, fifth? <gasps> how many brothers and sisters do you have? <laughs> or how many children do you have? If you do have children, good luck. Please take care of them and give them all the love you can. Till next time, I'm out of here. Mommy.